Here I am again with another camera comparison, this time around the LG Wing against the Google Pixel as last flagship phone from LG. One could argue maybe it was the V60, but I think it is the Wing. And the Wing came out I think last year already, but surprised me in many camera comparisons of how good the photos actually come out. And so I thought might be very interesting for you to know, especially as Google is now having a campaign where they're like basically trolling a little bit LG and LG phones that we compare the LG wing against the Google Pixel 6. So let's get started. So both camera systems uh, only feature an ultra-wide and a main camera sensor. The LG has a gimbal camera on top that uh, will only be used in gimbal mode for special like sports events or something like this or if you're running and gunning um, it might be very handy otherwise we have a 64 megapixel uh, main sensor on the LG wing and a 12 or 13 megapixel ultra wide and we have a 50 megapixel main and 12 megapixel ultra wide on the Google Pixel so it's a very close race here and uh, they are not so far off when it comes to uh, camera systems you can see the specs on the screen and yeah which one is the winner let's start with the video test so this is the front facing camera of the google pixel 6 1080p 30 frames per second 8 megapixel sensor only stabilization is quite good colors is are good as well dynamic range should be also good maybe a little bit blown out here uh, on this high contrast situation and uh, yeah this is stabilization these are the colors and this is the uh, microphone directly attached to the Pixel 6 and works fine. I just have to boost the audio a lot because for some reason this microphone only works on Huawei phones really nice with the auto gain. Otherwise I have to boost it up all the way uh, to get some proper good audio. How is dynamic range? I'm walking towards the sun, cannot see anything right now. And uh, my face exposure, how is the back? Yeah, let's compare it with the front-facing pop-up camera of the LG Wing. And now the pop-up selfie cam of the LG Wing, 32 megapixels. And this equals almost flagship live quality. 1080p, 60 frames per second, I'm recording right now. It has good stabilization. It also features 4K 30, so like a true flagship should have. The only thing that is distinguishing this from a true flagship front-facing camera is the autofocus, which is not available here. But the same on the Pixel. So what do you think? This one or the Pixel? Which one has the better autofocus? I will walk a little bit faster. Huh? This was like a little, bit, a little bit too much for the stabilization to do anything because they don't have OIS, they only have electronic image stabilization. Let's turn to the sun, let's see how, OI, uh, how uh, the dynamic range is. I think the pixel looked a little bit better, maybe. And uh, yeah, let's turn around here this way. Uh, face exposure, it's a, bit, it's a bit bright outside, autumn brightness for some reason. But anyway, yeah, what do you think about the pixels, uh, the, the pixels front-facing camera against the LG Wing's front-facing camera. I think the Wing has here a slight edge to it, especially in video mode where you can record 1080p 60 and even 4K 30. What do you think about this? Um, I think the Wing is just a little bit underrated, but it's a really cool flagship device and can compete with the Pixel 6 in terms of front-facing video. So this is now the LG Wing's main 64 megapixel camera sensor. And how does this perform in terms of colors, in terms of stabilization, 1080p 60 frames per second. And of course, also in terms of colors, high dynamic range. We have the sun in the background a little bit, you can turn around and we have a little bit of clouds in the background as well. Uh, you might see the clouds there. It's not really punchy blue. There's a little bit of white because of the clouds. So what do you think about this? And how is autofocusing? Because I noticed the wing has sometimes focusing issues, especially in such situations where it is yeah, it tends to focus on the background instead of my face. So what do you think about this uh, camera system? I cannot switch to the ultra wide angle while I'm recording. So this is a bit of a limitation on the LG Wing. Uh, otherwise, I will show you now the Pixel 6 main camera to see how this will perform.
and now the pixel 6 main camera sensor 50 megapixel and what you can see directly is warm 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 it's using very warm colors in contrast to the lg wing this is a general trend of the pixel 6 that you might see in all of my videos and how's dynamic range how is stabilization and colors besides the warmness of the colors as well as uh, punchiness we can take a look at the clouds again and when i go up here a little bit you can see it's a little bit more bluish i think on the uh, pixel 6 and a little bit less white the house stabilization i think it's also doing fine focusing system doesn't have any problems uses a very sophisticated focusing system so no issues there and by the way did you notice that i'm using a new microphone yes my wired microphone uh, now because my wireless one died on me so the batteries are empty there so what i can do now is go to the ultra wide angle this is a nice little feature that the pixel 6 has during recording i can switch to the ultra wide angle 1080p 60 frames per second and now you can see my new wired microphone that i'm using so yeah this is working fine and this is also the test for the ultra wide angle 1080p 60 frames per second so what do you think about this one is this good enough also warm colors i would say but yeah write it down in the comment section we will compare it now with the LG wing and now the LG wings ultra wide angle is a little bit wider than the pixels mm, I'm not so sure but uh, yeah is it how is it performing in terms of stabilization how is it performing in terms of colors and in terms of dynamic range so I can uh, yeah move around a little bit sun is in the background and uh, now the clouds should be in the background and I think it is working fine as well uh, for an ultra wide angle it's pretty okay um, on the same level maybe on par with the google pixel i would say in terms of video quality it's not as warm as the pixel because this is like a general thing of pixel processing it's making everything a little bit warmer and uh, the lg wing is a little bit more cooled down a little bit more yeah <laughs> tweaked towards reality i would say so it's creating more pleasant reality like looking uh, video but you can write down what in the comment section what you think about the video quality 1080p 60 frames per second now on the ultra wide how does it compare to the pixel is this better or is the pixel the clear winner what do you think here we have the photos on the left always the lg wing and on the right always the pixel 6 so first glance on this photo what can you see yeah we have a different exposure we have more natural color of the grass on the left but it's a bit overexposed and we have a little bit underexposed and more punchy colors on the pixel 6 with a lot more contrast when we take a look at the sky we can see it's overblown on the pixel 6 and we can see some blue elements on the lg wing which is more realistic but overall i would say when you because yeah when it comes to the motive what you want to photograph is like the cross and maybe the flowers and when it comes to zooming in you will see a resolution difference because we get 16 megapixels on the lg wing so 64 megapixels are bent together on the main sensor to 16 megapixels and 50 megapixels on the pixel 6 is bent together to 12 megapixels you can also on the LG wing activate the 64 megapixel photo uh, but as you are not able to do this on the pixel 6 I did not compare those both what we can see here is due to the higher resolution we get a little bit of more detail on the LG wing uh, in regards to the cross but we can also see when we go to the flowers here perfectly exposed not overblown highlights and when we take a look at the LG wing we have this overblown white highlight and glowing of the flowers here also i think the contrast is a little bit too much on the pixel 6 but it's a little bit too overblown on the lg wing so the best would be like maybe something in between uh, that would be more accurate the same also on the other side where we can see it looks like there's more detail on the pixel 6 but this has something just to do with the overblown highlight on the wing and we can see this in other photos as well let me first try and tell you about digital zoom because i think this is a very very fair comparison between the pixel 6 and the lg wing in contrast where other people were telling me p50 pro against the pixel 6 is unfair because the p50 pro has dedicated zoom lenses and uh, the pixel 6 doesn't have them 
Both here don't have a dedicated zoom lens or zoom sensor. Again, we have this because it's the same situation and I just zoomed in. The overblown highlights on the wing, the more punchy but more realistic colors now a little bit. So the color shifted a little bit. We can maybe see it here. The green was a little bit darker and here it's a little bit brighter and this is more realistic. More realistic colors on the Pixel 6 here and overblown background and highlights. And we don't have this on the Pixel 6. So Pixel 6 looks a little bit better but when we zoom in you can see there's a massive difference in terms of details and this is not only explainable by the higher megapixel count 16 instead of 12 megapixels this has something to do with the algorithms used and i have to say for a camera that does not have a dedicated zoom lens the lg wing provides super good detailed two times zoom shots which is like super crazy and you will see this in in further photos otherwise we can see here the flowers again there is a little bit more of detail level again due to the higher megapixel count i would say but it's also overblown so it's not good so in this case i would prefer the pixel 6 image because it has the more accurate colors even though it doesn't have the um, details the ultra wide angle also same situation we can see both are doing very fine in terms of hdr but the Pixel 6 has a more aggressive HDR. You can see this in the blue sky. The blue is more blue and the green is more green. No, the green here in this case, they switched somehow to the earlier photo where you can see like uh, the, the, the main lens photo. We can see we have the punchy green here on the Pixel 6. And now on the ultra wide angle, we have a more punchy green on the LG wing for some reason and more realistic on the Pixel 6. In general, the Pixel 6 has more aggressive HDR and I have to say the more natural photo is the LG Wing probably. The Pixel 6 looks a little bit artificial. When we zoom in, we have again a very similar kind of uh, megapixel count, but it's I think 13 megapixels on the LG Wing and it is um, 12 megapixels on the Pixel 6. And here again, I think uh, more details are visible on the LG wing so the ultra wide angle seems to be doing better on the LG wing in terms of details here look at the cross and the little details had more contrast as well but here I think also sharpness is um, it's not only not only uh, virtual or artificial sharpness but also um, sharpness of the lens itself is a little bit better on the wing than on the Pixel 6. It's debatable when you go to the side where I think the Pixel 6 has an edge over the flowers here in terms of sharpness. And we go to the extremes, we can see both are not doing very well, but the Pixel 6 does a little bit uh, better here on the extreme edges. But we have to say also when we go here to the extreme edges that we will have a wider field of view, as you can see here on the LG wing in contrast to the Pixel 6. So this might compensate a little bit for that. Let's take a look at another photo which demonstrates a little bit the difference in terms of sensor size. The Pixel 6 has a 1 over 1.3 inch sized sensor and the LG wing has a 1 over 1.7 inch sized sensor. It doesn't sound a lot, but it is a lot as you can see here. We again get this very artistic, nice bokeh front unsharp background unsharp and the leaves here sharp photo on the pixel 6 which just looks fantastic it could be also done by a uh, digital uh, digital um, DSLR or DSLM camera and we don't have this nice creamy bokeh on the LG wing on this uh, I don't even know where it was focusing I think it was focusing here it looks a lot better on the Pixel 6 both have overblown highlights but because the bokeh balls on the bokeh is so great on the Pixel 6 you don't really notice this and it looks a little bit worse on the LG wing so here you can see the big difference when you want to do close-ups when it comes to HDR or highlight control, I think the Pixel 6 is doing a better job here. It has more aggressive HDR definitely, but also the sun flare you can see is a lot less pronounced than on the LG wing, which is interesting because the Pixel 6 with its la larger sensor and I think also in combination with the large aperture, the bigger aperture, 
um, should have more problems in controlling it but the wing is doing here a worse job and when we take a look at the detail level you can also see that the pixel 6 here in this stone can still you can still see the structure of the stone which is a bit washed out here on the LG wing so uh, also the grass uh, the details there the pixel 6 wins there when it comes to let's take a look at here the trees and HDR uh, we can see it's a little bit more overblown here so the highlight control on the uh, pixel 6 is better this was shot directly into the sun then the next shot is interesting because i think both managed to capture a nice shot and here directly on the first shot i see that the wing has a more natural more yeah, non-busy bokeh and on the Pixel 6 bokeh, the background blur, on the Pixel 6 the bokeh is more busy, you can see here is something going on and I don't know, it, it, here around the flower something's going on and here it looks more kind of natural and again 12, uh, 16 against 12 megapixels so you see a little bit of difference we have different colors as well I have to say the Pixel 6 does not nail the colors here it is a little bit too dark the, the pink here and the lighter pink of the wing is more close to life um, in general slightly different kind of angle maybe that can also explain things we have more punchy green in the background more realistic uh, green on the wing uh, detail level I think the wing did not really win here we have a little bit of detail here this looks unsharp this looks sharp and here on the pixel 6 it is zooming in now we see this is unsharp here but here we have more details um, it's really really hard to tell there's a different focusing going on uh, here I would say it's a draw basically uh, when it comes to this kind of shot and uh, next to the two times zoom shot again like I said the wing has the best zoom shot without having a zoom lens that I ever saw on a smartphone so far you can see this here also when I just zoom in here uh, you can see the text oh, it is readable you can even see the number here something wrong with the machine you can call it but in contrast to the wing the wing looks like it is an optical zoom and it is not it is using the main sensor and of course it's 16 megapixels but still the sharpness is there there's no kind of yeah blur going on it is readable everything and yeah it is just simply better if you zoom in with the wing you get almost like a two times optical zoom and you don't have this with the pixel 6 so the wing is definitely better when it comes to two times zoom colors also we have more contrast more punch on the wing and a little bit more realistic colors on the pixel 6 a bit more muted colors as well when we take a look at another close-up shot i think both nailed this very nice and i wouldn't have any problems sharing this nice shot uh, on social media but we can see the pixel 6 managed to retain the sky color so HDR is working fine it's aggressive but it's working fine and it looks a little bit better than the wing because it is blown out it is of course a background blur both did not manage to keep the uh, the main subject in focus so they were focusing on the leaf here which is nicely sharp and I think from the detail and color level I don't see much of a difference you can see a little bit more um, depth of field here on the LG wing and a little bit out of focus here on the pixel 6 when it comes to this part here of the image but this has something to do with the sensor size and the color may be a little bit more yellowish on the wing but in general I think it is very very close and very good indeed on both then again this a nice shot with the ultra wide angle and here I have to say almost indistinguishable even the uh, HDR again a little bit more aggressive here around this tree you can see the background is more blue than here is a more white and we can even zoom in when we zoom in on the ultra white we can see it is almost indistinguishable there's a little bit darker red and darker exposure as you can see here on the signs and here it's a little bit brightened up we can read the name of the street here which is 
a little bit blurry here on the wing so I think the sharpness is a little bit higher on the Pixel 6 when it comes to this shot which is uh, interesting but when we take a look uh, at the extremes again the extreme levels here uh, do we have still sharpness maintained here I think yes the wing loses the sharpness here for some reason but uh, let's take a look at the middle here this little chapel I think it is and here it looks to me like there's a bit of difference in, in, in colors again uh, the, it's a bit more contrasty on the wing and less contrasty and uh, more dynamic range on the Pixel 6. In terms of sharpness I think the wing wins here again but I think it is a bit of over sharpening even here could be and as soon as we go away from this middle very sharp point to the sides here you can see that both are losing sharpness and quality but I think the Pixel 6 is doing a slightly bit better. Let's take a look at the next shot, which is this shot done with the 24 mm on both. And we have, I think, a very nice shot. Also almost indistinguishable. You have to zoom in and you see that, first of all, you see that there's a little bit less contrast on the leaves here. So we take a look at the leaves there and you can see, yeah, you see more colors here on the Pixel 6 and a little bit more dark contrast on the wing. When we take a look at the top of the photo we can see again resolution wise a difference but I think we can so see also then more details on the wing which might be to, due to the resolution. So you can see here the detail level on the wing is just better on the doors, on the little uh, windows there it looks a little bit better on the wing. When we take a look at the sides here we can see that the wing is worse so if you photograph something and want to crop into the sides you can see the Pixel 6 has, has it sharper, a lot sharper and uh, there's also a difference, a slight difference in terms of uh, field of view. As you can see here we have a bit of narrower field of view on the wing and a little bit wider field of view on the Pixel 6 so uh, my program here tells me uh, the Pixel 6 is using 24mm and 26mm on the LG wing. When we zoom in two times again we see the superiority of the LG wing but not directly because here we can see more shadows on the wing and yeah less shadows and still shadows there but less contrasty look on the Pixel 6 which might be more eye pleasing and uh, when we take this uh, zoom in at 100% we can just see more details definitely on the wing there's a lot more details like I said the wing is like the king when it comes to zoom in two times without having a dedicated zoom lens and the detail level is just uh, superior here I have to say to the Pixel 6 but the Pixel 6 has a better high dynamic range. Nighttime shots interesting it blew my mind because usually I would say the Pixel 6 should rule and win here as a new newer phone uh, with better algorithms but I was surprised as you can see here the shots are very very similar and I would even say that the LG wing managed to have a brighter exposure which is very interesting it's complete darkness here or medium darkness kind of test when there's no light here at all at a cabin and uh, yeah there's only light coming through a slit of the door and what we can see here if I zoom in is uh, it looks very smooth on the Pixel 6 I have to say almost no kind of uh, noise that you can see here but you can see also it's not perfectly sharp and if I zoom into the wing uh, we see it has a lot more noise going on definitely but the image stitching together is working better apparently because we have a sharp photo we can read what is written here and here it looks like it is smeared somehow so we have this noise reduction on the pixel 6 definitely maybe also less noise due to the larger sensor and bigger pixel size but still I think the wing does a better job in terms of night photography here 
than the Pixel 6, which is interesting. You can see it more clearly here in this, where it's like total darkness. Basically, there's not even a slit of light in the bathroom. And it's very fantastic that those phones can produce anything because I couldn't, I, I can see that there is a bottle, but I cannot read anything in this light. And I uh, couldn't even see the color of the flower here. And what we can see here is like, yeah, both managed to do the exposure, right? I think the Pixel 6 does even better in white balance because the, the color here is white and here it has a bit of greenish, yellowish kind of look on the wing. Uh, but we can see definitely here the stitching is, it's unsharp. <laughs> it's just unsharp. And here it's so much better. You can read stuff. You have more details on the wing, though you can see definitely more color noise on the wing. So the wing has not so much like of an aggressive uh, denoising algorithm here, which helps in terms of sharpness probably, and it has better stitching together those photos that it uh, takes for this long exposure. So in general, I would give the edge really to the LG wing because yeah, I can live with the, with the color noise or the noise in general, if I have the sharpness there and yeah, on the Pixel 6, it might look a little bit better in terms of white balance and less noise. But if the sharpness is not there, then the night mode does not really help, I would say. What do you think? Write it down in the comment section. That's uh, enough for the photo comparison. So who is the clear winner? The LG Wing or the Google Pixel 6. I'm very surprised how close the wing came to the Pixel in certain areas and in some areas it even beat the Pixel 6, especially in front-facing video for example. So what do you think? Who is the clear winner in terms of photography and videography, the LG wing or the Google Pixel 6? Write it down in the comment section. This is everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.